What is going on boys, it is your boy Jacopo and today this is going to be a little bit of a short video, it might be short or long, I don't know, I might not cut it as long as usual, but this is going to be the best settings for OBS for low end PCs right here guys, I'm going to show you the best settings right here. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please leave a like, you support a creator code Jacopo underscore fan, I don't have a face cam, but I'm going to show you the settings today, so please leave a like for that, and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay boys, right now I am, I actually am recording with Streamlabs OBS, and Streamlabs OBS and OBS have the same exact settings essentially, I just I just use OBS because it uses less CPU usage and it's a lot better for recording slash streaming in my opinion Okay, boys. So the first settings general honestly, I don't really know what these things do I haven't really changed them since I got OBS uh, This is I know the snap sensitivity is when you're like moving around your objects on the screen um, It's it's whatever like snaps or whatever like I, I don't know how to explain it, but um, say for example uh, if I get my code Yakupo fan this the, the snapping sensitivity like from the box to the corners and stuff it's different based on how you set your snap sensitivity so that's basically that and keep in mind guys i am going to keep this mainly uncut this whole tutorial so hopefully you guys stick to the end so you can actually see the best settings though okay stream key this doesn't really matter unless you're streaming um if you want to stream you get a stream key from uh your source of platform or whatever you're streaming on okay guys now for the actual settings the most important settings this guy i'm going to be going through streaming recording and audio if you go here um in streaming you're gonna want to use your gpu most likely you can test it out but if you have a graphics card that shows up here click that for sure a hundred percent and the uh, CBR will be on 6000 kbps keyframe interval on 2 preset max performance if you want good performance if you want to go quality you do that you can honestly play around with it I, I like going max performance while streaming because it just gives me a better experience for myself and it doesn't really affect the bitrate as much profile do main if you want like less laggy stuff a gpu on zero max b frames on two and if you're still lagging if your stream is still lagging with that uh, you can either lower the bitrate for CBR or I'm going to show you a different way. Okay guys, you're going to want to go to VBR. And as you can see right here, you're going to actually want your max, your bitrate to be 6,000, stay the same. But your max bitrate, uh, you can set it anything under than 6,000. And the way this works is that it will actually try to re run 6,000. But since you cap it, it'll actually just run at like 5,000 or whatever. Uh, whatever your computer can handle and this will actually get you better performance and um it might a uh, variable bitrate might be um, a little bit more blocky or pixelated in your recording or stream but it is good for performance if your recording or stream is laggy i'm gonna put it back to cbr because that's what i usually use but let's go ahead and get onto the recording settings okay right here guys these are not the settings you actually want to use um this is what i use because i have a high-end pc i have a pretty good graphics card pretty good cpu but right here your recording path is wherever you want to put it uh you just browse and then it'll open your files you can put it to whatever, whatever folder you want so oh yeah guys i forgot to mention output mode if you put it on simple it'll just show this so definitely put it on advanced before you do anything so as you can see you don't want stream encoder or x264 you want your gpu if you do have one if not use x264 uh for bitrate for a non laggy recording for a low end pc you should be able to use 5000 to 6000 just for streaming just like that keyframe interval to preset you can either put on performance or max performance your choice or even quality if your pc can handle that profile um should be on main actually i put it on high because like I said, I have a high-end PC. Main is for a little bit lower-end PCs, and you can even put on baseline if, if you really want to. GPU on zero, max frames on two. And if that still is laggy for you guys, if you still are getting like 30 FPS record recordings, 5 FPS, go to VBR and do the same thing. Just use these settings right here. You can even low, if you want to, you lower the max bitrate right here to 4,000 or 3,000, and you should be good. Okay, boys, now we're going to go on to audio right here. Right here, I didn't really change anything for, like, my audio track one. I just put on 320 bitrate, but uh, I honestly just put that there just, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what, how that really affects it. It shouldn't affect performance if you put the bitrate on the max, but if you really want to, if you really think that it affects it, you can put it on 64 bitrate. Okay, guys, now you're going to want to go to the video tab right here. Base canvas resolution right here. Um, you can, I set this both on 1920 to 1080, 
by 1920 to 1080, but you can also set the output scaled resolution to something like 1280 by 720. This will basically allow your computer to uh, rescale it as a 720p video instead of a 1080p, and it'll be a lot easier and uh, you're, you might get a lot uh, better performance slash FPS on re your recording just because it won't have to process as many graphics or record as many uh, pixels. Okay, downscale fix uh, filter, definitely Lanzos, sharpening, scaling, 36 samples, and then your FP, uh, your FPS right here, it should be 60. If you still are lagging with 60, change it to either 42 or 24 uh, because those 42 will actually give an illusion of 60 fps it actually looks kind of smooth even though it's only 42 fps trust me on this one guys i've tried it before i had a mac before but now i have a pc but i'm still giving this information to you guys because i know you guys will need it okay boys for this this advanced tab honestly i don't know what this does but i just saw this renderer thingy if you have anything different just uh, i i'm not actually too sure but that's basically all the settings ladies and gentlemen for obs right here obviously you have to have all your stuff already here i'll make a different video if you want me to let's try to get 50 likes on this video if we can and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next one hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye